For more on this, we turn once again to Charles Armstrong, professor of Korean studies and director of the Center for Korean Research at Columbia University. Good to have you back. Nice to be back. Why now? Why did the North Koreans seem to do an about face and suddenly become magnanimous with the United States? Well, it seems like the North Koreans have shown the world what they wanted to show, that uh, Kim Jong-il is in charge, that he's a tough leader, that they have the capacity to produce a nuclear weapon, to uh, test their missiles, uh, and uh, that they have to be taken seriously. And now Kim Jong-il is ready to make a concession and uh, make this magnanimous gesture of releasing the two American journalists. What does North Korea expect to get out of this? I know you described that it's a good PR campaign. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm asking is, is the photo opportunity with President Bill Clinton unto itself worth letting those journalists go? Well, the importance of a photo op with for former President Bill Clinton should not be underestimated. It's very important for Kim Jong-il for his image domestically to show that he brought this former president to Pyongyang to meet with him and to show around the world. But we can assume that North Korea expects something beyond that that they are sending a signal that they may be ready to come into negotiations again with the U.S. Uh, and move forward in improving relations. Mr. Clinton comes home with a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the sit down with the, uh, the president of North Korea tells us a great deal about him, doesn't it? Yes, it does. There's been a lot of speculation about Kim Jong-il's health, about his state of mind, about his capacity as a leader. Uh, and now Bill Clinton has met with him, had extensive talks, and can give us a much better sense than we had before of how Kim Jong-il is doing. And that benefits us in what way as we move forward? Well, the, we didn't know uh, whether Kim Jong-il was really in charge or if he was uh, passing on his leadership to someone else. Uh, now it seems that he is in control and he's the one we have to deal with. And the regime itself is uh, under uh, his command and we're going to have to deal with re this regime for the time being. And whose court is the ball in now? There are a couple of things that will be going on, uh, we can assume. First, there will be negotiations uh, behind the scenes uh, between Obama administration officials uh, and North Koreans about uh, where we go from here. Uh, and uh, North Korea uh, will expect some sort of uh, an offer from the United States uh, down the road about what it will uh, expect for North Korea to come back to negotiations. And if I'm South Korea, if I'm Japan, how do I view all of this? With some concern, uh, South Koreans and the Japanese have their own uh, issues which are not the same that the U.S. has with North Korea, and they're not all that uh, excited and enthusiastic about the U.S. dealing with North Korea directly without them. But moving forward, no real substantial change in policy toward North Korea is going to happen uh, without the U.S. consulting with its key allies in the region, South Korea and Japan. Charles Armstrong, thank you very much. Thank you.